Hello there, Alan Plum here again with a little more from Shed Engineering. As many of you know, I'm modelling a section of line from Haddon Tunnel up to Bakewell, which is in the Derbyshire Peak District. And the reason for modelling this section is because it was my dad's favourite stretch of line, and I have got vague memories myself of train spotting there. And there's every chance my dad lifted me up above the parapet to see the trains coming up the embankment. Down in Bakewell there was a young man called Mike. He would have been in his very early teens, but was absolutely mad on trains. He lived and grew up in the darkish building centre left, and I believe his bedroom window was just under the eaves, right next to the town cross. And he spent every spare minute on the bridge next to the station or on the small access bridge a few hundred yards further down from the station train spotters stood up there years ago waiting for the London Manchester Express to come up the bank 50 odd years later as area manager I throw the company car keys across the desk at head office a few weeks later I found myself self-employed and the first gentleman to give me my first contract was a chap by the name of Mike. He helped me no end in getting set up and I'm still working for him some 15 years later. He too had a little engaged railway years ago and he actually gave me these two coaches as my first rolling stock. Yes, that's right, the young man called Mike who grew up in Bakewell, spending all his time on the two bridges watching the trains coming up the embankment some fifty odd years ago, is the same gentleman who gave me these two coaches. How incredible is that? In fact his initials are carved in the stonework on one of the bridges. So thanks Mike, much appreciated my first rolling stock and trains are now running again up the embankment at Bakewell but guess what instead of only two coaches I've now got three well four in fact from uh, trains for you in Peterborough they're both second hand, one for £14, one for £13. So I'm going to pop them on and just see how they go. I haven't had them out of the box, but I think, I think they're all right. Absolutely superb. Now then, Purdy, what do you think to these? Do you like them? No? Oh, come on, Purdy Dog, please. You don't like them? In first class condition. Very, very nice. So we're going to have something approaching a half decent, a half decent rake. So Santa Claus, Santa Claus has come early. equally as smart. What about this one Purdy Dog? Oh you like that one? Yeah? You've changed your mind? Oh Purdy Dog. You don't like it? Oh that's sad. 
a little bit shinier than the the others but very very nice nevertheless oh look at that It's all downhill from here on. No it's not. We're only a few days away from Christmas. So let's enter into the spirit of things. Dear Santa. I have been extremely good every day of the year. Dear Santa, I think I have been very, very good almost all of the year. Dear Santa, I have tried to be good for most of the year. <sighs> Dear Santa, I have been good most of the time. Screw it. I'll go and buy my own presents. On the first day of Christmas my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. Just the right size darling. <coughs> On the second day of Christmas my true love sent to me two jinty tanks and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas my true love sent to me Three pen ends, two jinty tanks and a partridge in a pear tree <coughs> On the fourth day of Christmas my true love sent to me Four Metcalf kits, three pen ends, two jinty tanks and a partridge in a pear tree on the fifth day of Christmas my true love sent to me Five gold pins Four Macaw kits, three pen ends, two ginger tanks And a partridge in a pear tree <laughs> On the sixth day of Christmas my true love sent to me Six points of switching Five gold pins, four Macau kits, three pen ends, two ginty tanks, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love sent to me seven joiners are joining, six points are switching, five gold pins. Four Macau kits, three pen ends, two ginty tanks and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> On the eighth day of Christmas my true love sent to me. Eight wagons are shunting, seven joiners joining, six points are switching, five gold rings. Four Macau kits, three pen ends, two ginty tanks, and a fire tree in a fire tree. <coughs> On the 
day of Christmas my true love sent to me Nine bottles of glue, eight sh wagons shunting Seven joiners joining, six switches switching Five gold pins, four Metcalf kids Three rails riders, two duty tanks And a partridge in a pear tree Tenth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Five sheep are grazing, nine bottles of glue are gluing, eight wagons shunting, seven joiners joining, six points switching, five gold pins, three mechockets, two, three pen ends, two duty tanks, and a car to give a pear tree. day of Christmas my true love sent to me Eleven bags of scatter Ten sheep are grazing Nine bottles of glue gluing Ten wagons shunting Seven joiners joining Six points Five gold rings Make our kit three pen And two jitty And a hit the fair tree On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me twelve drum sanders, eleven bags of turf, ten sheep are grazing, nine bottles glue glowing, wagons shunting, seven joiners joining, six points are switching, five gold pins, four mechockets, three pen ends, two jitty tights, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs>
Obviously, Christmas is all about giving and sharing, but really it should go on all year round. And that's what's so nice about YouTube and similar forums. Every one and every video is trying to give something, whether it's very basic modelling skills so as not to overwhelm the beginner, or the very latest technical gizmos and the latest models. You can go all over the country train spotting or have virtual days out on steam preserved railways or go hiking across the peaks in horrible abysmal weather. Everyone passes on their skills or experiences and you only need to give a couple of clicks of your finger. So to each and every one of you I would like to say a very big thank you. I would also like to say thank you to all the other viewers out there who haven't got accounts and can't comment or subscribe but you only have to look at the viewing figures to realize that there are many hundreds who call back again and again so many thanks to you as well so it just remains for me to wish you all a very merry Christmas and a happy healthy new year and many thanks for all your help advice and efforts and if you would like to remember one thing worth remembering then the best things in life are not things I hope you found something of interest and as always many thanks for watching <laughs>